This is going to be a tutorial to show you how to create a deck of flashcards in a program called Anki. It is a free open source program that is comparable to say Quizlet and other programs like that. The Anki app though platform is free and they have it for Mac, your computer, your iPhone, your iPad, your Google phone and the like. And it's all free. And it's a really great app to use if you need to learn something. It's it is a flashcard application, but what it can do is, is simply amazing. First thing you need to do is you need to go and download it, install it on your computer. You can get it at up here, AnkiApp.com. You'll notice you got all your download buttons here. So that's the first thing you need to do. And after that, you'll want to create a deck. And, and this video is going to be specifically about creating a deck. So after you've downloaded and installed Anki, and you open it up, this is what you're going to see. This is your place to work. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a deck. So I'm going to create one. I'm learning uh, Kaoni Greek. Uh, the language that the New Testament of the Bible was written in and I need to know the alphabet. So I'm going to, my first deck is going to be Kaoni Greek Alphabet. Once I've created my deck, I'm going to want to add a card to it. So we're going to go here. And you have some choices here, basic, basic and reverse, basic, optional, reverse, type in answer and close. I'm just going to go with this one here, basic and reversed. You can play with these, see what they do. Uh, to close, I will the close I will get into in another video. It's pretty unique. But anyhow, what I want to do is I want to put in the Greek alphabet and I want to put the name up top in the front front of the card and I want to put the name of the particular letter in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my Greek keyboard here, my Greek polytonic keyboard, and I'm going to type in the alpha there. And switch back to English and, and type in the word. This is a capital letter alpha. And I'm going to add, add that. And I want to first before I add that I want to make sure I choose the right deck to add it to because it's going to throw it to your default deck if you don't. So I'm going to choose Keone Greek, and I'm going to add that. And I also want to put in the small letter here. So I'll switch back to the Greek keyboard here, and back to the English, and I'm going to type it out small. And you notice the Keone Greek alphabet card uh, deck still selected. And now let's do the beta. We'll add that and I'm going to switch to the Greek keyboard here and we're going to put the small beta in and whoops forgot to switch to my English keyboard didn't I we'll add that and I'm going to add the, the gamma the capital gamma and type it in there and I'm going to add the small gamma type it in there so that's enough to show you what you're doing so I'm going to go ahead and close this and you see now I have these in my uh, Keone Greek alphabet now I can go ahead and open this up and click on study now and you'll see I have the alpha here and I'm going to show an answer it's the small uh, small alpha and that's what it is and I'm just going to hit my space bar and it's got the capital alpha and I'm going to hit my space bar and it's got the capital alpha there and again the beta uh, small beta and the, then the uh, capital gamma and the capital beta and a small beta. So that's how that works. That's to create a card. Now, let's say you made a mistake and you added something you didn't want to add to that. I'm just 
just for this example you go up here and you click browse and it's going to have that particular deck open here now if you scroll down here and you look right here you can pick out the deck that you need to correct now it's not readily apparent how you would delete something so let's go down here and uh, delete these gammas here and if you right click on it there's there's no delete you notice that there's no delete there's no delete buttons anywhere however if you go down to notes you click delete and it deletes it and you can uh, select multiple ones to delete as well go down to notes and delete them all in one 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 go and that's how you create a basic deck and how you edit manage it a little bit and if this has helped you how about leaving a like subscribe leave a comment let someone know about this and you have a good day